Hey everybody, Kelly here, your ninja real estate marketing dude. <laughs> and today I'm going to attempt to do this live. Now, disclaimer, anytime that I do live marketing training and I'm actually going to demonstrate live a lead generation strategy, you never know how this is going to go. So for those of you that are watching this after it's live, please forgive me. Um, this is live. So what I want to talk about today is, um, what you can be doing. Cause I had a conversation with an agent. I get agents calling me literally all week long, needing help with marketing, right? And their marketing for real estate agents is, is basic fundamental stuff. You generate leads, you have a message to these leads and you set appointments, you close them, and then you get cash flow, right? <clears throat> Unfortunately, not all of us are on the same page when it comes to lead generation. And some of you watching right now are probably thinking, Oh, lead generation. It's so tough. It's not tough guys. Let me just dispel this. I've been doing this a long time. Lead generation is only as hard as you make it to be. But as my buddy, Sean Cochran says over at EXP Realty, you got to be consistent. This is not something you do and play play with. You make this a habit in your, if you are, if your income is dedicated on closings each month, you got to do this literally every day. But the good news is the way I'm going to train you to do this, it's simple, it's easy to do, and you can autopilot this rinse and repeat every day. So I'm going to make you one promise. We're not going to make this a long video. Some of you have seen me do some of this, but you've never seen me do it live. So I want to share with you uh, this strategy. Now, we're going to talk FISBOs, but you could do this for geofarm sellers. You could do this for expireds, and you better be going after those and pre-foreclosures. It's easy for me to show you how to do this with FISBOs, but again, Use this strategy for a lot of your seller lead generation. Now, it is a multi-pronged strategy, which means you're going to be doing multiple different things, but it doesn't have to be difficult in terms of reaching out to your client. Remember, just sending an email, if that's your strategy, you're dying right now. If all you're doing is sending an email to a lead, you're done, right? <clears throat> Most of these leads need to have multi-touch campaigns. So without further ado, let me share, show you live, and I'm going to actually launch a campaign in front of you live. Um, and this is something you guys can be doing literally every day, rinse and repeat. So if you're ready, um, I've got comments turned on. So drop me comments as I'm going. I don't know. I mean, let me know if you drop me a comment, just tell me your name. Hey, this is Jim Kelly. Great. Or hey, uh, Kelly, this is Sarah. You suck, right? <laughs> I just want to, if you drop a comment, I want to be able to respond to you. But Without further ado, let me share my screen. And again, this is using FISBOs, literally something you can do every morning when you wake up. And if you do this enough, you, you're going to make money. But you can do this with geofarm sellers, pre-foreclosures, expired, yada, yada. All right, so let me share my screen. And we're off to the races. So for FISBOs, first thing I do every morning is I'm going to log into My Plus Leads. Now, you guys can use Red X, you can use Land Voice, you can use um, uh, Cole, I mean, whatever you want to use. I've used them all. I like my plus leads. And the fact of the matter is I get about hundred to 150 expired and FISBO leads every month with names, phone numbers, emails, and I weed through those. So if I'm marketing to say 70 of those a month, don't you think we're going to get some closings? You better believe it. Um, but the problem is you get excited about this and then you're like, Oh, I want to do this, but you start it and you don't do it consistently. So please understand from my coach's heart, this is one of those things every realtor can do day to day out. So what I did is I logged onto my dashboard. I'll show it to you in a minute, but it brought me to this FISBO lead. This is a brand new FISBO lead. I went and checked it out on Zillow. It's still a FISBO. So what you'll notice on this FISBO lead is I've got their name. I've got their email. I've got their phone. I've got their address. So let's talk about the first thing that I did. First thing I did is I grabbed her email. Okay. And I went ahead and created this email to her. So interesting that her name is Kelly or his name or whoever this is. I'm Kelly. So I thought that was cool. So the first thing I did this morning is I created a video, right? What, hey, good morning, Kelly. Watch the quick video. In this market, I believe you can sell it without a realtor. I want to help level the playing field and help you compete against other homes near you listed for sale. So when you click the video, it goes to Bomb. Bomb. By the way, did you notice how the video is interactive? And let me do this. Do you see how her name pops up there? Guys, this is what you do. Okay. Let me go back to where you can see me. Simple thing right here, right? And then all I have to do is wipe this out and go to the next lead. Put their name on it. On Bomb, and by the way, I use Bomb Bomb Video because it gives you this uh, five-second pre-gif uh, 
So that's what it looks like, right? It's meant to catch their attention. What we're trying to do is get your emails opened at a high rate. So once that's done, I create the email. Let me go back here. There it is. And when she clicks it, this is what the email looks like. Hey, Kelly. This is Kelly also. I am Lake County's real estate ninja. And congrats. I see you're selling your home for sale by owner. I know by now you've got a lot of agents. Right. So there we go, guys. So again, I grabbed her lead. The first thing I did was created an email. Now, I also noticed that she's not on the do not call list right here. Well, actually she is. So I won't be calling her. I'm just going to email her uh, a non-spammy email, just a letter of introduction. And then I'm going to do one more layer of marketing. So guys, if you're with me so far, um, let me know, drop me a comment. I don't see if I don't see any comments yet, but if you're live with me and you're, you like what you see, just drop yes or drop no. Um, I don't really care if you don't like it, but this is what I do. It works. Um, <laughs> but what I want to share with you is, again, a strategy you could be doing every morning. Like you wake up, you find your expireds, you find your uh, uh, for sale by owners and you start marketing. Thank you, Lulu. I love it, too. It works. By the way, one of the guys on our team, go and find him on YouTube, Steve Angeline. This guy's a beast. All he does is for sale by owners. He doesn't do anything else. He doesn't work with buyers. He doesn't work with geofarm sellers. He doesn't work with, he works FISBOs. In one and a half years, he used these strategies to do $9 million in sales. He spent $2,500 total marketing cost in one and a half years for about 250 grand in GCI. Those are some impressive numbers, but here's what he'll tell you. He did it every day. Every day he did this strategy, right? He went, the longest he went in a year and a half without getting a listing is six months. How many of you would do this for six months and not get a listing and still sell almost 300 grand in a year and a half? You have to answer that, not me. All right, so let's move on. So here we do, we've got all of their information. I went and checked their home out on Zillow. And so what I did is I've got a folder on my, um, on my files, okay? Here's what it looks like. For this next strategy, I've got one called FISBO Pictures. Let me find it right there. And I went ahead and saved a picture of her home on my computer. Now, you don't have to do it. I'm getting ready to show you, but I do it for myself and it works, right? So the next thing I did after I sent this email to Kaylee is I went over here to my second software. And most of you that are following me right now are either using this or heard about it. I don't care if you use Mailbox Power. If you want to use uh, 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 thanks.io, if you want to use send out cars or anything else, please do something like this. By the way, below the video, if you don't use My Plus Leads and you don't use Mailbox, which is what I use, um, there are links for free trials. Enough about that. So moving on, we've got the email sent out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to contacts on my Mailbox Power. Guys, watch how easy this is. When I show you this, you're going to be like, holy crap. I'm going to create a new contact right there. Now, I'm going to go back to My Plus Leads. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy Kelly's name. Watch how fast this is too, guys. Copy. And then I'm not going to do anything else. I'm going to move on. Now I'm going to go get their address. All I'm going to do on hers is populate this. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to put it here, and, and it's going to find it for me. Astatula. There it is right there. So that's done. Next, I'm not going to do any of that. I don't need to worry about this. I'm now going to create this new contact. Now, you remember earlier I told you that I saved a copy of her home? So right here, the new mailbox uh, platform, they solved an issue that was really frustrating us power marketers because we don't like to spend nine hours. Um, Evelyn, I thought you could call because there's FISBOs. Yeah, Evelyn, you can't. I wouldn't text them, right? But because you are a realtor, you can call. You just have to be careful. Here's why. Every franchise broker that has a, uh, a, a cold call uh, program, they're calling these guys. I'm trying to show you what to do to be different. But yes, you can call. Um, and we'll talk about that on another marketing video. Today, I'm just going to show you something you literally can do, rinse and repeat every day. And it's so simple that and it works that you don't really have to cold call them. But Cold calling them adds extra conversion factors, but I digress. So here I created them as a contact. Now here is where I'm going to add the picture that I showed you guys earlier. So I'm going to go back into my uh, FISBO. Let me find them. There we go. And then here's her house. 
Now, it's going to upload her picture on her contact. There it is. Now I'm going to save changes. So let me bring me back into the equation. So guys, what I'm showing you right now, and my mouse keeps freezing. There we go. So what I'm showing you guys right now, remember I told you when we do this live, you never know what's going to happen, is again, a quick and simple rinse and repeat strategy. So what I did is I created an email with this video going out, which is extreme. What do y'all think about that? Drop me some comments below. That is a killer. Look, her name or his name is right there, right? And it's interactive. And there's the email. When they click it, I'm going to know they clicked it, right? So the next thing I did is I created them as a contact. Now, I've totally automated my direct mail, my postcards. So what I've done is I've gone in. And it literally took me five minutes to do it. I created an automation for Fizbos. So here it is right here. I'm just simply going to click automation. I'm going to go down to Fizbo. I'm going to man it. By the way, if you want to see what my Fizbo looks like, it's a five-week postcard campaign. Here's what it looks like. There's all my postcards. First one goes out today. Seven weeks or seven days later, seven days later, seven days later, seven days later. So let me go back to automations. I'm going to show you how simple this is. And it's actually taking me longer to explain it to you than to actually physically practice this every day. But again, I'm going to go to my Fizbos. I'm going to manage recipients. Let me go back up here to my plus and grab their name. And remember, I've already saved Kelly as a contact. Now I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to enroll a contact. Let me search for the name. Paste. Enter. Oh, this is why I told you when you do this live, it's a little tricky. Let me go back to my Fizbo. Manage recipients. And guys, they just created this new dashboard, so I'm having to relearn what I'm doing. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. Let's find the contact. See if I can do it again. If not, then I'm going to forego this. I must not have saved them when I did it, guys. I apologize. I told you when we went live, this stuff can happen. Oh, wait a minute. I just found them. There they are. So there is my contact. If I want to preview it, it'll pull it up over here. There's the picture saved. Now watch this. I'm going to click here. I'm going to enroll in automation and done. All right. Whew, I'm glad that worked. So what I just did, and let me bring me up. What I just did is walked you through literally at eight o'clock or nine o'clock in the morning. You can wake up. You can log into whatever your lead generation sources. I use my plus leads 30 day trial. If you want to try what I do, you can use red X, red X onyx. You can use land boy, whatever. The reason I use my plus is the majority of my leads. I'm getting email addresses. The other services, I did not find them to give me as many email addresses or accurate. So you have to figure that out on your own. If you want to do what I do, then great. Happy day. If you, do something different, at least the bones of this marketing strategy are there. So you wake up every morning, you grab your Fizbos, you send them an email with that little thing that I showed you. I use BombBomb. There are other services you can use. I just use them. I've got several others, but they make it so simple for me. I then go ahead and create an email, pop that email in there. And once I send the email, I will then create a five-week drip campaign if they're a Fizbo. Now, what they're going to do is they're going to get my email today. I'm going to follow up in a couple of days with another email. Hey, Kelly, did you watch the, did you see the email? I might even go ahead and call them in a week or two when they've gotten my first card and just say, hey, Kelly, I noticed you guys are selling Fizbo. I sent you an email a week ago. I wanted to see if you got my first postcard. That's a phone call that I wouldn't mind having. Uh, but they're going to go in and get my five postcard drip campaign. If they haven't responded in five weeks, I'm going to go ahead and look and see if they're still for sale by owner. They get another email and I start them all over again on the cards. Guys, it cost me about $1.75 to $1.90 total for five cards for five weeks for that one client, right? Let me show you one more thing. Remember I told you that that was for Fizbos, right? So over here on my dashboard, every morning I'm getting new lead sources. Here's one Fizbo. So today I also got two expireds. Now, my, my big thing is anything under uh, 
300K, really 250K, but anything under 300, I don't mess with. Here are two expireds now, guys. I can do the same thing. Precursor, I will go in and I will make sure that they're actually expired. They're not withdrawn conditional or they haven't relisted or leased. So in this instance of both of these homes were still actively expired. They just expired yesterday. They haven't changed. They're going to get an email video from me and a four-week expired postcard campaign and probably another email or two from me over the next 48 hours. Guys, do you see that? That's three leads just by going into my dashboard today. Sometimes I have six leads, right? But on average, 150-ish a month from just this one source. And of those 150, maybe 70 I can be dealing with, right? The other thing I'll show you on the dashboard is I can also do the same thing with, watch this guys, pre-foreclosures. Now, this one's a little different. Most of the pre-foreclosures, I'm not going to get email addresses from. So I'm going to just send them on a postcard drip. But for pre-foreclosures, I can wake up. I can go ahead and say I want um, in the last 30 days. And I want to see how many leads came in as a pre-foreclosure. And guys, there we are right there. 93. Holy crap. I just saw that. I need to go ahead and jump on these. <laughs> 93. Why are pre-foreclosures important? You tell me they need a solution. The bank is coming after their house and you can be the solution. So for those of you watching this and you're like, oh, I just don't know what to do. It's costing me an arm and a leg to buy Zillow leads. Guys, one Zillow lead is 250 bucks. <laughs> for 250 bucks, I can send 600 direct mail, highly targeted with a message postcards once a month. You could dominate. Please understand direct mail is not the end of all, but I think it should be a major, major marketing factor when you are doing your marketing. Not any direct mail, targeted direct mail with good messages. Guys, don't just send out cards. Hey, do you want to list your home? Hey, I'm a great realtor. I work for this company and we do don't do that. That's what everybody else is doing. Don't send a big card with a big picture of your face, even if you're a freaking gorgeous, right? I'm gorgeous. I don't send, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I don't send pictures of me. I don't send pictures. I just send them relevant stuff. Sometimes it doesn't even have an offer on it. It's just, hey, I'm the local realtor. If you'd like to get a cup of coffee or if you want to find out what your home's worth without the pressure of listing, call or text me this number. I'd be glad to give that to you. It's good to know what's going on in the market, right? These kind of things are stuff you should be doing every day. But focus in on what you're spending. If you're spending a lot of money right now without results, now understand, don't judge what you're doing if you're not consistent with it. That's on you. Now, this is the coach in me coming out. If you are not seeing results and you honestly can reflect back and say, I'm not being consistent, then don't judge that thing. Judge yourself. Whatever you do as an agent, be consistent. And guys, if you can make that determination to wake up every morning and do just what I showed here, you are 100% ahead of the game. You will see great strides in your business. So again, guys, if you haven't seen this, if you're coming in late, when this video posts, go back and watch it. I just gave you a business in a box. Literally, if you're struggling with lead generation and wondering what to do, I just solved that issue for you. All right, guys, I appreciate every one of you. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.